welcome back to the channel now i'm currently in the back alley and behind me you'll see there's a lot of mess and we use it for a dumping ground but unexpectedly we've got a huge delivery of ballast and our neighbor is helping with that this afternoon so going through what we have to shift i've got the rest of the day to get it blank and ready for the delivery the ballast is going to be used as like a decorative kind of bedding thing on top of the weed fabric so we don't know how much we're going to get it could be a substantial amount or it could just be a couple of barrelfuls we have no idea but the best thing to do is cover our bases and get it all cleared so if you come down here i'll just talk through what we have to move and where so if you watched our 30 day video challenge and you saw us the last time we cleared this back alley we've got all the pebbles to move all the mud render and the mud bricks that came down from demolishing the end summer house room my dad's actually going to be reusing this as like patchwork for his outbuildings so he's going to come and collect these mud baths today we've got the gas bottles now we have four but only one of them is connected at, at any one point so i'll leave the one on the regulator these three need moving maybe into the cellar or into another storage location the generator needs moving and we've got this little i'll say small pile but it seems to be growing quite quick of scrap metal so whether or not the neighbor who's helping us today wants to take that away with him that's fine by me but it needs to be shifted then we can get to the weeds that are growing through the map now the plan is before the ballast goes down to cut off some patches off the spare fabric that we've got lay it over the top of the holes and try and prevent some of these weeds coming through once the gravel's on top so let's crack on it's getting super hot it's approximately like quarter to 11 half 12 half 10 something like that so i need to act quick step one wake up brother gonna rise in the sun step two get some good some food in you step three you grow hard about what you want to be step four everybody just do your thing wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yeah. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control. I even know this one gets me. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause it's sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Insane. Yeah. Yeah. That will do. That'll do, Donkey. Are you going to be 
there was a wheelbarrow there. Yeah. Yeah. And look at all the pieces of plastic. And amongst it all, that's well annoying, isn't it? Yeah, we'll never be able to see through it. It's a lesson learnt there, yeah? Yeah. Lesson learned. You're not trying to get more in there, are you? Yeah, I'm all right, baby. I'm not getting the tiny ones, because we're about to cover up tiny ones. really well haven't even made a dent in a pile that's in the middle of the center so he's left me with two cartfuls outside the gate to get that inside but in order for him to empty the third gate which is just on the street near the end of the extension render he wants to be able to drive on top of the pile so it's not all individual piles so I'm just trying to flatten this and then he's gonna come in a couple of hours to come drive back over this dump me another fresh patch and then I've got until a few days, get it all inside, more stuff I can, and go from there. But it's really good stuff, and apparently, from what I translated, I think it's lined with concrete powder, because they do use it for the roads underneath the fresh tarmac. So whether that's going to be a blessing or a curse, I'm not sure. But there's enough little chip-ins for it to look quite decorative. So I'm, I'm buzzing, to be honest, and it hasn't cost us a single thing. Yeah, so with the stuff you're bringing in now... Just dumping it near the back door so we can kind of get a feel for what it'll look like. Yeah, and I'm not going to dump it here straight away. It starts on the furthest point and come back. Yeah.
Okay, so that's the last bit of ballast raked out and flat. Now we were anticipating a little bit more, maybe another two cartfuls, but it's been a few days and we haven't heard anything back from the neighbour and we've seen the pile in the centre of the village getting quite low. So we're under the impression that that's as much as we're happy to have. We're over the moon by the transformation it's given us for this back alley. So although the amount of ballast that we had came past the kitchen, it didn't go all the way to the washing line and where the grass line is which I'll show you in a second. So we're hoping to just raking it back, make it a little bit thicker near the back door and just leave it at the end of the kitchen, which will cut it off quite nice. Now, at least it gives us a bit of a landscape design, which is a little bit more low maintenance, but it'll enable us to do whatever we want in the future. If we want to put concrete on it, flag it, uh, stepping stones, whatever we want. But for now, it's absolutely perfect for what we need to keep the weeds down and give it a little bit more of an aesthetic look. So we'll keep you posted on the channel if we do end up getting some more. But for now, I think that's the uh, end of the hot, not the hallway transformation, the ba back alley transformation. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe if you want to see it. Ciao.